ready okay good morning children um as we are doing computer okay children today we'll do chapter 3 i'll be doing a new chapter today with you in the live class recording class but in pdf i'll be sending you chapter 2's uh question answers and all the remaining exercises okay so let's start a new chapter introduction to ms word chapter 3 and in your book you can see page number 33 okay so today we'll do the in introduction part okay today i cannot show you live but in next class i'll show you how we can uh operate and start ms word all right so let's start first i'll read for you introduction to ms word microsoft word is a word processing software it is used to create documents in a simple and effective way these documents are used to store information or record notes for future use microsoft word 2016 commonly known as word 2016 is a part of microsoft office suite now what is microsoft word microsoft word is a software where we do all our writing or typing work children as you all know we have different programs in a computer like we have ms paint where we do all the drawings and coloring work so after that as you have done in the junior classes you have learned how to draw how to color your pictures yes or no you have so many tools in your drawing um uh, page in your drawing program so now we are going to learn about ms word ms word is a program where you can do your typing all writing works like suppose if you want to write any story if you write you want to write any poem so how where will you type all this typing works can be done in microsoft word okay so today we are going to do this microsoft word 2016 in your book it is uh microsoft word 2016 where you can type the documents all right question answers you can write type because in computer we say typing so we have to type a work in your microsoft word program so where we find this microsoft word ms word 2016 in microsoft office in the group of microsoft office there are different programs like ms paint ms powerpoint ms word ms excel okay these are the programs which you will be finding okay so next you need to install the microsoft office suite and open word with blank template before using it to type text so you need a new page suppose if i'll give you any work to do in a copy will you do it in the same page where you have already done before no obviously you will start you'll do in a new page similarly here also you have to open a new word page where to start your work so how can we start a microsoft word in your computer let's see here starting microsoft word to start microsoft word first step on the task bar click the start button the start menu appears as shown in figure 1 you can check out your book also or you can see here i will be showing in your computer system you have the bottom part of the screen is known as your task bar okay on the task bar the main button you'll see is your start button you have to click on the start button using your mouse arrow okay when you click on the start button a menu appears this is called your menu start menu okay this is your start menu which contains many programs it shows the programs which is installed in your computer system now what you want to open now you need to open ms word okay if you see ms word directly you can click on ms word and a dialog box a dialog box appears on the screen 
screen. This dialog box will come on the screen which will show you the different kinds of templates. Def different type of templates means different type of pages. Okay. Among these pages there are varieties of pages which you can choose according to your need. The type of work you want to do you can choose select from here. But now as we are a beginner we are doing the first time we are learning so we will open a blank document. What is this? It is a blank document means a new page. Okay, you have to click here. If you click over here on this blank document uh, template, one new fresh page will open on the screen. Okay, a white page will open on the screen. Alright, here you can do your work. Whatever work, suppose if you want to type your name, your class, section, whatever. If you want to write a story, if you want to type a poem from your book or the contents of your book, if you want to type it, you can easily do over here. Okay, a blank page will open on the screen. Okay, this kind of page will open on the screen and this page will contain few areas which you can see here. Okay, this page is again divided into different sections. As you all know, the topmost part of the screen is known as your title bar. Title bar is a part of the screen where you can see the name of the program. Recently, which program have you opened? You have opened MS Word. So, you will see here it's written MS Word. And along with this, you'll see three important buttons, minimize, maximize and the close button on your title bar. Okay, on, uh, on the title bar, three things you will see more is your quick access toolbar. This part of the screen is known as quick access toolbar okay this part of the screen is known as where you can see the save button save tool is there and undo and redo buttons you can see over here this part of the screen is known as your quick access toolbar and this part is called your control button This part is called your control buttons where you can see minimize, maximize and close button. Minimize means you can make your screen small. You can minimize and keep here on the tax bar. Maximize. You can enlarge your screen and the close button will help you to close, close down your program. Not your computer, just your program. Alright. Then... You will see here the tab button, the second row, tab button and you will see the name of the home key, home, insert, design and many more buttons you will see on the on your second row and the third part is known as your ribbon. This whole part is called your ribbon. As you all know, I have already shown you in the class. In your lab, whenever we have gone to the lab, I have taught you that this part 
where the different sections of the screen is there you can this part is called your ribbon okay groups are there different groups are you can see which will help you to work on your computer screen then the right side you'll see your scroll bar vertical scroll bar okay which will help you to move your page up and down vertical scroll bar which help you to move your screen up and down then this part is called your document area where you can do your work this is your cursor okay it's a blinking line is your cursor okay this cursor will help you to type your text suppose if you want to write your name uh, Aditi. This cursor will move from its place and it will shift to the end of the letter. This cursor will help you to type your text on your document area. At the bottom again you have the status bar. Status bar. On which you can see your pages how many pages you can you are using you are in which page page number one two three all these indications can be seen on the status bar okay and the languages suppose if you are doing english language you are, you are typing in english so it the language will be shown on the status bar okay so children as uh, we have we are only doing the introduction part so i'll do till here next class i'll continue with the next topic that is creating a new documents uh, till then we'll be closing okay so go through your book all right thank you